up guys it's Fusion and today I'm here with some Call of Duty news with some gameplay in the background something new that I'm gonna start, start doing on my channel kind of like you know, cha channels like you know Thunder like and, you know, they make really good videos as you guys can see right here we have some gameplay on the map Skyjack playing some safeguard I'm using the Weevil hashtag buff the Weevil but basically in this video we're gonna be discussing about Call of Duty having the highest monthly active users in franchise history in November slash December 2015 yes you heard me right the Highest monthly active users in franchise history. So any Call of Duty, and for people are saying that COD, COD is dying, no, it ain't dying. As you guys see, uh, actors and they did re uh, reveal that Call of Duty keeps growing over the last quarter. Call of Duty saw its highest monthly active users in franchise history. Uh, in, act in addition, Activision CEO stated that Black Ops 3's opening weekend beat out Star Wars: The Force Awakens opening weekend sales. So that is epic, guys. And once, like, what, what, what do you guys think about that? The fact that people say Call of Duty's dying, but Black Ops 3 has revived the COD series. And, you know, with COD 2016, hopefully, you know, being a really good COD as well, you know, Call of Duty is just not, it's nowhere near dying. It's still at, at the highest of its peak, and Black Ops 3 has brought it back to where it was, you know, a few years ago. And, uh, you know, back in, I remember Black Ops 1, uh, they used to have, like, you know, how many people would be online. They, they said for, I think, that around those months, it was around 3 million. So there's more than 3 million plus people playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which is absolutely crazy. You guys think about that. And, you know, with the amazing DLC that came out, you know, guys, Darius and Draka, the, the zombies map, absolutely amazing. And then the four multiplayer maps. You know, uh, and they also got three more DLCs left to go with Black Ops 3, and then we got the next COD coming. So the hype is definitely, definitely there for Call of Duty. I think it's at, I think, honestly, people think, it's, you know, some people are like, oh yeah, the COD franchise is dying because the last two, like, you know, before Black Ops 3 with Ghost and Advanced Warfare. But, you know, now you got the fact that Black Ops 3 brought it back up. And, you know, Finney Ward has had three years to work on their next one. And hopefully Sledgehammer is, you know, working to fix uh, Advanced Warfare 2, which would probably be. And then Ghost 2 or MW4 for uh, Infinity, War, or Infinity Ward or maybe even a new COD itself. But let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, and type in the, I want to know in the comments, do you guys think the Call of Duty is dying? I'm kind of curious about that. I don't think it is. I think it, it's still growing at an insane rate. Uh, the esports is growing. The community is growing. And it's getting better and better, man. So let me know. Once again, guys, is Call of Duty dying or is Call of Duty growing like I say? Drop a like, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Before, before I end it, guys, I'll be live on YouTube. By the time you're watching this, I'm probably live. Uh, go be sure to check me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Weevil's love, Weevil's life. Let's get it.